Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be talking about my favourite drugstore highlighters for fair skin. Wait a damn minute, did I just say highlighters? <laughs> I meant concealers. The market has come a very long way in the last couple of years and I have definitely tried my fair share of concealers. I do have six here today that I want to talk about and I will insert swatches of all the shades at the end of the video. For reference, my shade match is MAC NC10. I do have a neutral to cool undertone and when it comes to concealers, I do prefer something that is more of a high medium to full coverage. I feel as though having a nice flawless under eye just makes my base look 10,000 times better. I used to go for shades that were really light and super brightening, but now I've kind of changed and I prefer a shade that matches my skin tone. I find that when the shade is too light, it looks far too bright and stark and it doesn't give me the coverage that I'm after. So going in with a shade that does match my skin tone a bit closer, I feel as though I'm getting better coverage and overall it's just a much more flawless look. When it comes to application, again, this is something that has changed over the years. I used to go full on with the big triangles under my eyes like everyone did on YouTube, but now I've come to realize I don't need that much concealer. I just like to apply a dot in the corners, blend it out, and then if I need more, I will go in with another small layer. Now my under eyes are nowhere near perfect. I have plenty of fine lines, and let me tell you now, all concealer settles into these creases, okay? I'm pretty sure every one of these concealers that I'm going to mention claims that it does not settle into fine lines, but as someone with fine lines, it, it's just what it does. Product settles into these lines. Some concealers don't settle as much as others, and that's why I've picked my favorites here, but it's bound to happen, okay? So just don't feel discouraged when a concealer settles into your fine lines because that, that's just your under eyes, okay? Like, what are you gonna do about it? Now, I wouldn't say I have really dry or oily under eyes either, kind of just in the middle, but I do like to always make sure they are nice and hydrated before I go in with my makeup. All right, well, I think that is all the information you need to know. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment and I'll get right back to you. But let's get into this list. First up, my holy grail, all-time favorite concealer is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Oh, I just... <laughs> for such a long time, there was this big battle on YouTube about what is the best dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. And as I said, I tried a lot of concealers and none of them were it. This is it, okay? This concealer... It's just amazing. Let me tell you why. Okay, okay, okay. It has a very full coverage, which I absolutely love. You don't need to use a lot of product and it blends out so beautifully. Some people do find this one to be a little bit drying under their eyes, but as I said, I don't have a problem with dry under eyes, so this works perfectly for me and it leaves a beautiful matte finish. Now, it does retail for $30 here in Australia, which I think is pretty pricey, but it does come in a very large bottle. I'm pretty sure it's around 10 or 11 mils, and the product inside is amazing. So it's definitely worth that, but I still always wait till it's on sale, always. The shade range is fantastic as well. It comes with 18 in total. I have two here, 320 Porcelain, which is the fairest, and this one is a little bit too fair for me. So I like to go in with 322 Ivory. This one matches my skin tone a bit better and I feel as though the coverage it gives is just beautiful. I really love this concealer for covering blemishes as well. If I don't want to go in with foundation, I go straight for this concealer and I use it under my eyes, around my nose and on any spots. It covers them so well, it doesn't feel drying on any blemishes either. I like to go in with this brush here. It's by Morphe, it's the E22. It is an eyeshadow brush, but it's quite a dense eyeshadow brush. So if I'm ever out and about, I will chuck the brush and the concealer in my handbag and use it for touch-ups. Like a little bit around my nose or my mouth or if any pimples are popping through. This concealer just blends so well and it is literally my go-to for like all occasions. I freaking love it. 
Next is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Now this one is also extremely full coverage. It does have a matte finish and again some people do find this to be a little bit drying on them. For me it's not that bad. This concealer has 26 shades in the range which is just amazing to see from such an affordable brand. It only retails for $10 as well which is such a bargain and it also comes in a nice big bottle. I'm pretty sure around that 10 mil mark. It doesn't say on the bottle, but you are getting so much product. It's such good value for money. You can pick this one up online from the e.l.f. Australia website, or they also stock it at Kmart. On the website, it says that the shade does dry down darker than when you initially swatch or apply it. So that is something to keep in mind. I have two shades here. First up is Fair Beige and then I have Fair Warm. These shades are too fair for my liking now, so I definitely want to pick up something a little bit deeper that matches my skin tone because I would definitely get much more use out of it if I had a deeper shade. But I used to use this all the time. The coverage is fantastic. Like if you love that full coverage matte finish, this, oh, it's so so bloody good. Next, I have another one by e.l.f. and this is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. If you've tried out the L'Oreal or the original e.l.f. Camo and you found them to be far too drying for you, then this is a great option. There are 25 shades in the Hydrating range. It also retails for $10. You can pick it up from the e.l.f. website, but I haven't seen it at Kmart yet. This is such a beautiful concealer. It has a very creamy formula that is super high hydrating under the eyes and leaves a beautiful satin finish. I do find that it settles into my fine lines a touch more than the others because it does have that more hydrating formula, but it's nothing too crazy like I still really love it. Even though it's a hydrating formula, it still has a very high coverage. It looks so flawless under the eyes. The only thing I found with the hydrating line compared to the camo is that the shades run a little deeper. So for example, I have a fair beige in both of the formulas and they are completely different shades. I'll quickly swatch it for you. So this is fair beige in the 16 hour camo and fair beige in the hydrating formula. So if you have purchased the camo and you're wanting to get the hydrating version, just be aware of that. Next, I have the BYS Full Coverage Concealer, and this is a fantastic affordable option. The coverage is not as full as the L'Oreal or the e.l.f. Camo, but it is still very high. It has a really beautiful demi-matte finish. I would sit it in between the two e.l.f. concealers. It's very creamy and smooth on the skin. It blends really well, and I just love the flawless finish that it leaves. This one comes in similar packaging to the other concealers, a nice big bottle with a large doe foot applicator, and it retails for $8.95. Now, the only bad thing I have to say about this concealer is that the shade range is shocking. You wanna guess how many shades are in the range? Just quick take a guess. Four. There are four shades to choose from. Like, are you serious? I'm surprised that there's a shade for me, really. So I have Ivory, which is the fairest in the range, and it is a good shade for me. It matches my skin tone nicely, but not a lot of people are going to be able to try this concealer because there is not a shade for them. And it's such a shame because it is a really great formula and I would love to hear more people talking about it. The full coverage range from BYS is fantastic. The powder and the foundation, they just need to expand the shades because all the products really are beautiful formulas and this concealer is right up there on my list. Next is another concealer I find to be quite hydrating and this is the CoverGirl True Blend. We're seeing a theme here, if you haven't noticed already. All these concealers are in nice big bottles with that large doe foot applicator. I really love it. I think you're getting value for money in these big bottles and the doe foot applicator is just a nice way to apply the product. Now this concealer does claim to be full coverage, but I find it to be more of a high medium. The shades I have tried are too fair for me, so that could be one of the reasons why I find the coverage to not be as full, but the formula of this concealer is beautiful. It is extremely hydrating, which is another thing. It claims to be matte, 
but I don't find that at all. I think it leaves a satin finish under the eyes and it just leaves you looking very fresh and hydrated. It's a very smooth and creamy formula. It blends really well. It also builds really well. It does settle into my fine lines a little bit more, but I think that's just what these hydrating formulas do on me, which is totally fine. But if you are looking for a more hydrating concealer, this is a great option. On the CoverGirl website, it does say it comes in 30 shades, which is friggin' amazing, but at Priceline, they only stock eight. So I don't know what that's about, but it retails for $15.95, quite a good price, and it does go on sale very regularly. And lastly, a newer concealer to my collection, and one that I wasn't sure if I wanted to include in this video, but the formula is just amazing so I had to. This is the Enco Beauty Camouflage and Contour Concealer. This one comes in a total of 10 shades and it retails for $22. I have the fairest shade available which is Ivory and the reason I was a bit iffy about including it is that it's not very fair. Like it's probably a touch too dark for me. I can still get it to work, but it's not the fairest out of all the concealers that I've mentioned today. If your skin tone is similar to mine or a few shades deeper, then I think this would work great for you. But if you are fairer than me, just, just give it a skip. But as I said, the reason I wanted to include it is because the formula is beautiful. Super hydrating, creamy and smooth. It feels very lightweight under the eyes and it builds up really well. It does have a full coverage and leaves a satin finish. It's a very long wearing formula as well. I just want them to expand the shade range because this concealer could do great things if more people could try it. <laughs> Again, big bottle, large doe foot applicator, just please work on the shade range because it is an amazing formula and I do really recommend it because of that. All right, well, they are all the concealers I'm going to mention today. Overall, I would say my absolute favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible followed by the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. All right, well, let's jump into some swatches and you can have a look and compare the shades for yourself. Starting out, we have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in 322 Ivory and 320 Porcelain. Here we have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer Concealer in Fair Warm and Fair Beige. Next, we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in Fair Beige and Light Ivory. This one here is the BYS Full Coverage Concealer in Ivory. This is the CoverGirl True Blend in Fair Porcelain. And this is the Emco Beauty in Ivory. All right, well, that is all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and lets me know that you liked watching this. This is what you want to see. I do have individual reviews on a lot of these concealers, so I will link them all down below in the description box. If you want to hear more about some of my favorite products, I also have a favorite highlighters and a favorite foundation video that I can link as well. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below as well, letting me know what your favorite concealer is and why, because when I'm watching a video, I love reading through the comments and hearing other people's opinions. So go and leave a comment. All right. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day or wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.